The circuit for the study of forward bias characteristics of PN junction diode is shown here. The voltage between the PN and NN is increased from zero in suitable equal steps and the corresponding steps are noted. So we are looking into the forward bias characteristics in a PN junction diode. So positive is connected to positive and negative is connected to negative. So the forward bias characteristics curve of the diode is shown here. Voltage is independent of the current. Therefore it is plotted along x axis and the current is dependent variable it is plotted against y axis. From the characteristics curve, the following conclusion can be made. The forward characteristic is not a straight line, hence the ratio of V divided by I is not a constant. Therefore, the diode is not obeying the Ohm's law. This implies that the semiconductor diode is a non-linear conductor of electricity. It can be seen from the characteristics graph that initially the current is really small. This is because the diode will start conducting only the external circuit or voltage overcomes the barrier potential of 0.7 volts. This is a silicon diode. So it should overcome the barrier potential of the element used. As the voltage increased, to 0.7 volts, large number of electrons on volts start crossing the junction. I am trying to show the semiconductor P and N type, a positive ion and negative ion, and this is your holes and this is your electrons. So once the voltage is crossed, large number of electrons on poles, holes will be start moving the junction. Above 0.7 volts, the current increases rapidly. The voltage at which the current starts to increase rapidly is called as cut-in voltage or knee voltage of the diode. You can see here, from here it starts increasing. Now let's talk about the reverse bias characteristics of a PN junction diode. So positive it's connected to positive, but it should be connected to the negative. And your negative should connect to be positive. 